Hi there folks, Andrew here at Chatfield. Today I am super pumped up because we have finally released the A-B testing plugin. This has been a requested feature since the beginning of time, since we first launched the product and it is finally here. Now, just as a recap, in case you don't know, A-B testing, also known as split testing, is super popular in the marketing world. This allows you as the marketer to test different variations of something like the text or the image you use to see what performs best in relation to a specific goal. So in other words, let's say your goal is to increase the number of opt-ins that you get in your bot. You can change the way that you pose the question by altering the text in these different variations and then experiment to see which version your users respond best to and then double down on that variation so that you can maximize your opt-ins essentially. That'll make more sense in a second in case it's still abstract, but I'm really, really excited to show you how this works, so let's dive right in. So as I mentioned, let's pretend that we are trying to optimize our opt-in rate and we're gonna test two different variations, one where we're going to refer to the user by name and one where we're not. So on the welcome message here, this is like the homepage of the bot, we're going to, instead of adding text like we normally would, we're going to click this plus more option here and add the A-B testing plugin. So how this works, you can see it's already splitting between two different variations, 50-50, completely equal. If we wanted to, we could test more than two options, but for starters, let's keep it simple and just test these two variants here. So for the first one, let's test, will the user's first name, including that in the text we use, make them more likely to opt in than if we don't? So first let's create a block here and we'll call this with name. Okay, we'll create that block, great. And then for the second one, we'll say without name. Okay, great. So we have these two blocks set up. Now let's dive in and actually edit the content. So with name, let's type in here, hey, we'll use an attribute that includes their first name. Hey, first name, would you like to subscribe? Clearly we're not using the most creative copy we could here, but this is just for testing purposes. And then let's use a quick reply so we can actually track which option they chose and then use that as the metric for our goal. So we'll call this yes or no, and then assign an attribute here and we'll call it subscribed. Okay, great. And then we'll duplicate this in the next block over here. So I'll just copy this text remove that name attribute, and then add the same quick replies here, yes, no, and subscribed. Now obviously I'm showing you just one example of what you can test. Obviously this will vary based on whatever your goal is, whether it's more opt-ins, capturing more leads, increasing a certain metric of your choice, you get the idea this is just a framework that you can use and showing a real life example of how you would use this plugin. Okay, great, so we have all of the copy that we wanna test and the attribute here, which will allow us to test that goal, measure it, and there we go. So then finally, all that we have to do is set goal and see stats here, click that, and we'll type in the name of that attribute. You can see here, this is a previous test that I ran, but if we'll include a new metric here, that subscribed metric, and we'll say if subscribed is yes, because that's what we're trying to track here. And there we go, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is actually test this in the wild and then refresh this page to show you the updated stats. So I'm going to click test your bot here. Okay, so it asks, hey Andrew, would you like to subscribe? So in this case, it's using that with name variant and I'll say yes, because I would. Once I do that now, I'll go and refresh the page here to see the updated stats. Okay, so now that it's refreshed, let's scroll down here. We can see that the conversion rate is 100%. We had one user, me, go through, and I did convert because we're tracking if they opted in, and in this case, I did. Obviously, this is kind of underwhelming to look at because we have such little traffic, just me as one example, but obviously, you can see how useful and valuable this will be if you're driving tons and tons of traffic to the point where it becomes statistically significant, and then you can easily pick out which variant worked best. So if this with name variant, which is variant A up here, does perform best over the long term, then that's great. I'll just get rid of this A-B test plugin entirely and make that my welcome message. So again, I can double down those efforts and increase my opt-in rate. In essence, that's how this A-B test plugin works. Again, remember, you're not just limited to testing with 
two blocks here or just the text that you use. You can experiment with different videos, emojis, content, the order of your questions and lead forms. Uh, the sky is really the limit here, so I highly encourage you to use this either in one part of your bot or test and experiment with as much as you can. That's the video. If you have any questions, let me know down below or also just let me know down below in the comments what you plan on testing in your bot to optimize your conversion rates. Thanks for watching and happy botting.